Hello besties, I'm currently on a road trip and I'm at Jindabyne right now, so excuse the different background. Anyway, for a lot of us students, we are still having online exams and the good thing is, they are usually a little bit easier than in-person exams. Or at least there are a lot of tips that can make your exam experience a little bit easier. Stay tuned to know how you can get my free exam preparation and revision templates. Please check if you're having an open book or closed book exam and check out last week's video on mistakes to avoid when taking exams. Let's go! First, make summaries and links for all topics. I asked a lot of my high achieving friends tips for online exams and all of them said this. Prepare a list of all the topics or lectures and their content for you to refer to during your exam. If you're sitting for an open book exam, chances are the questions that they ask will not be direct, meaning you just can't copy and paste answers directly from your textbook. But what would really help with answering those confusing questions is knowing which topic or module that question is from, and then starting from there. If you prepare a list of all the lectures, modules, and their content, you can just press Command F, type in the keyword of the question, then find out which lecture that question is from. Or you can just click on the lectures and it'll take you straight to the relevant notes. I'll teach you how to do that right now. Open Google Docs. Once all your notes is in one document, prepare this table on the first page. Go to the relevant topic or lecture and select the point at which you want to skip to. Click insert then bookmark. Go back to the table on the first page and highlight the relevant lecture. Then right click link. Now you can just click on the link and it will take you straight to that section of your notes. This is super useful during online exams. So after seeing how many of you struggle with organizing yourselves for exams, I've decided to create a brand new Notion template to help you get prepared for exams. We have a calendar and tips on what to fill your calendar with, links to your notes for different subjects, fully customizable. You can practice active recall here by writing down questions you come across in your textbook or lectures during revision, then writing down your own answers. There is also an exam checklist to keep your revision super organized. In addition to the Fay Films exam template, I also have three other templates such as the Student Notion template that helps you organize your entire student life. The Life template helps you achieve your goals and live life more intentionally. And finally, my free schedule template helps you plan your day in detail and get all your important tasks done efficiently. Notion is a free app and website available on iOS and Android that helps you collaborate, get organized, plan your budget, write notes, and so much more. I'll link my free Notion templates down in the description box below and my Notion video tutorial up here, so be sure to check those out after watching this video. Next, not writing searchable keywords. When we type our notes, we tend to put in a lot of pictures, diagrams, or lecture slides. On top or at the bottom of these pictures, type in keywords that are relevant. So for this diagram, I added in keywords at the bottom such as Allen's rule and Bergman's rule so I can search and skip straight to the slide during the exam or during revision. You can't do this if you don't write the keywords. If you're having an online exam, chances are you're still having online classes, which means that you have a lot of screenshots. And there is nothing more annoying than knowing that there is a screenshot that can answer your question but you can't find it. So put in searchable keywords. Next, an advertisement might play in the next few seconds, so if you want to support this channel, please do not skip the ads. Thank you! Next, not paraphrasing immediately when making notes. During online classes, it's so easy to just copy and paste whatever the teacher or textbook is saying into your notes. So you need to paraphrase your answers, but doing that during the exam when you're stressed can be a waste of time because it'll take longer than usual. Instead, when you're making your notes, paraphrase immediately. If you didn't, make a note there to paraphrase that statement later. You can see that this is what I did for all my notes. 
That way, during an open book exam, you can just directly copy and paste whatever is in your notes because those are your own words anyway. Or if it's a closed book exam, this is actually a really effective way of revision. Writing things in your own words will store that information into your long-term memory, thus benefiting you in the long run. So, kill two birds with one stone and paraphrase immediately. Next, compiling into one PDF. You can use a website like combinedpdf.com to do this. A day before your exam, compile all your lecture slides into one giant PDF. You can also combine all your notes into one PDF. That way, you can easily press Command F to find the keyword that you're looking for during the exam. Then, during revision for your closed book exam, you can just type in the relevant keywords for both your lecture slides and your notes and all the relevant information will pop up in one place. If your notes are handwritten, that would still mean that you can't select, copy, or paste any of the text. If that's the case, download Wondershare PDF Element and perform OCR. It will scan all the words in the PDF and make it so that you can copy and paste words, add text, or highlight keywords. This tip is especially useful for textbooks with a lot of words and not many pictures like law or English literature. Being able to annotate your handwritten notes or the textbook will make it much easier to navigate than just staring at a giant wall of text. Next, not referring to the question. A thing about online exams is that you have to scroll down to answer the question, but then you can't see the question anymore. There are a lot of times where I've written an entire answer only to scroll back up to the question and notice that I've gone completely off topic. So grab a piece of paper and write down the keywords of the question like this. If you can't have extra pieces of paper on hand during the exam, just copy and paste keywords from the question into your answer box. That way you don't have to keep scrolling up to refer to the question and you won't go off topic. You might think that this is wasting time and I did too initially, but taking 30 seconds to do this is much faster than having to redo the entire question. Next. Look at the allocated marks. In objective questions, they'll usually allocate the amount of marks according to the time you need to answer them. 3 marks for a 3 minute question and 1 mark for a 1 minute question. So skip to the higher mark questions and answer those first because if you run out of time, you can just guess the answers to the lower mark questions. That way, the amount of marks you lose will be much lower. If you've made it this far, comment down below if you prefer online exams or in-person exams, and why. Like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell and set it to all so that you do not miss out on any future uploads. Stay tuned for my road trip vlog and thank you guys for 543,000 subscribers and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye!